Alrighty, so in this tutorial we're going to be looking at cards. Really just one card because once you see one you can kind of figure out mainly what to do with it afterward like most things in Material UI. So cards, if you've already looked at paper, maybe maybe not, it kind of looks like paper but there's more going on, there's more text on top of it. I guess it's one of those things that they have where like many things in this library they'll have similar components but it seems like they'll have one that's highly more customized than the other just to give you that flexibility so you're not locked into saying always have to use a card and you can't just use paper depending on what styles you kind of need so let's go ahead and get started making this I'll show you uh, kind of what I'm talking about here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a card and quick and dirty come in here we're gonna make a width of let's just say I don't know 300 pixels Typically you'd use the make styles to do this, but since this is a throwaway tutorial just to give a sense of what you could do with cards and other things I've, I do, I figure quick and dirty methods are fairly okay. So let's do an H1 here. Now I could use the typography, but because I want to focus on cards where I can use regular HTML, I'm going to. That way, you know, because when you learn something new, even if you could take time and understand what's going on line by line, it's like, why? Like, let's just break this up here. So, my dog is named Bernie. And let's just see how this looks for now. So, we see right here that we have this uh, elevation here, I believe it's called. And this is making it pop out of the page. So, all right, we have this going on. That's kind of cool. What other things could we do here? So we could have this, and we could have a paragraph tag here. He is, um, I said, well, I want to say ha Havanese, but it's Havanese. And weighs six pounds. So we got that, and you're like, okay, card, cool, awesome. What other things can I, um, you know, do here? And well, so this is just the card here I'm using, but this stuff right here is the content. So what we're gonna want to do is come up here, and we're want we're going to want to add in card content. Got a little tongue tied there. And that way it spaces everything out so it adds its built-in styles all that other jazz so we could see it more center aligned ish towards the middle here and yeah so that's the card content but what if you wanted to do something else maybe there's a call to action at the bottom so we could do something just as easy we could do card actions and down here we could have a button make sure I actually use it and let's do something like uh, click to rub his belly now now we have that there let's come in and do um, there we go we'll add this here We'll just keep it like that. So you could do more with this. You can make highly complex versions of this, but this is a card in a nutshell. It's base form. You have your content area, which is from what we saw earlier, shifts everything over. And then you can have an action section here where you could click on stuff, make things, make them go places, whatever your heart desires. But it's nice that they've kind of categorized the different parts of this component with this in a sense logical dividers here so you're not jamming everything all into one div or one section so to speak so i like that a lot but this is cards in a nutshell and yeah that's about it